Jason here, bloodchurch.org. Hope all is going well. Quick end of times update. Looking at Israel, of course, as we look forward to our blessed hope, Titus 2.13, the return of the king. And Israel will always be front and center when it comes to end time prophecy. So the Israel opposition parties agreed to form a new unity government. Netanyahu, of course, has been in power for over a decade. And you can see here the uh, the two main gentlemen that put this together were the right, right wing Yamina party, Nafatali Bennett, and Yair, Yair Lapid, leader of the central uh, party, essentially, reached an agreement along with, there's sort of eight groups that have um, joined together to oust Netanyahu, who has his own issues outside of certainly politics. Um, Lapid is sort of interesting in that um, he was an actor and an anchor and, a, and an editor. Um, he <clears throat> has been a, in favor of a uh, two-state system between Israel and the Palestines, which is sort of opposite, the polar opposite of um, Mr. Bennett, who would take over for the first two years, and then Mr. before handing the power over to Mr. Mr. Lapid in the, the second two years. So, looking at the politics of Mr. Bennett, you find that he um, <clears throat> has been quoted in the past of not ever wanting to have a two-party system. In fact, when when Trump won election, he, he said this is the end of the two-party uh, push that the Palestinians have been running and celebrated that. And so... Uh, you know, as soon as the next few days, uh, of course, um, the agreement was was reached, but it has to be um, has to be approved by the Knesset or the Parliament. So it's certainly not a done deal, but it would seem to be very close, if not if not a done deal. And it does unite also the twenty percent of the population that are that are Arab or Muslim in Israel as a part of this agreement. Um, as you can see here of this tweet, whatever happens tonight and in the days left until the conference vote, if it ever takes place, this is a historic photo, a leader of an Arab Israel party and the leaders of the Jewish National Nationalist Party signing agreement to join a government together. And, and so you can see here there has been cooperation between groups that have never cooperated with one another. Um, it says, this is the first time in decades an Israel Arab party has joined a governing coalition. And uh, Mr. Bennett was able to sort of lead this charge and put this together. So it's a big, it's a big, um, it's an interesting group of individuals that have conflicting views on the way the relations should be with the West as well as with their, their neighbors that surround them. So it should certainly be interesting. I'm sure God will use this in a way to empower his agenda, you know, as well, whatever that might be, whether it's, uh, you know, bringing parties together that opens up the door for, uh, for further peace or, or, you know, certainly maybe even the uh, third temple to, as you have Arab groups agreeing with nationalistic groups, if they can agree on this, could they agree on the construction of the third temple, which will, which is sort of important in terms of end times, as you know, the antichrist, and Satan must go in to that temple and stop the sacrifices in the oblation to make it cease um, in the middle of the tribulation. So certainly, definitely a really interesting, uh, you know, unification between different different factions, different parties uh, to get rid of a, a problem that has been going on of what four elections without a decisive winner. So it should be interesting moving forward what that means for the world as all eyes are always on, on Israel. But God's in control and God's got this. So I'm sure it will serve his needs. God bless and have a great day.